So uh, today I'm going to just share with you a few things uh, regarding things that I use all the time uh, and that I have found uh, good use for. This, the Passport Video Focus Card from X-Rite. All the time. I use this thing all the time. Here's the process of uh, the indie filmmaker, especially when we're starting out. You got zero budget, so you save up a lot and you figure, okay, well, maybe I need something really quick. So you buy something cheap, then you regret it. <laughs> and then uh, you go through uh, another process. Okay, well, I'm gonna save up, save up. And then you save up enough to get the good stuff. These are a little more expensive, but they are in a, a closable case that you can put in your pocket, pull out on set at any time. They are accurate color reproduction. They are accurate grayscale. I've gotten other cards uh, that the grayscale, when you compare them and you put them up on the screen and you try looking at the IRE and so forth, uh, they are way off. This one's sharp. This, one's, this one also gets you the focus. So you're, you've got your focus card as well as your um, grayscale and then you've got your uh, color uh, spectrum as well. So that's all in there. And if you're using DaVinci Resolve, free version all the way up through you can lock this on it is always with me when i'm filming the if you don't have it you regret it that's as simple as it is because you just need something to make sure focus is uh, sharp especially when you're working with these nice tight lenses uh you know at f 1.7 and things like that you really want to make sure that that's good the other thing is this is the zoom f4 it's a great beast for recording audio. I'm going to put this back here so <laughs> you can see it a bit better. I needed a power pack for it. This I use, which is just off of my other bag, and cover that and uh, cover the black magic if necessary. In here. So even for this, <laughs> I crank that in there so it's nice and sharp and focused so that she has that. This is my solution, which uh, I did a lot of research and a lot of testing and this will work for just about anything. So these are the batteries. 10 volts batteries. Uh, they are freaking cool. A, an 8 pack here for this I ran at 5 hours and 53 minutes. Uh, powering and I did this just continuous recording because I wanted to test the hell out of it. Continuous recording putting out um, 48 volt to a microphone and then I had two other line mics uh, running at the same time. So five hours these batteries pulled out five hours almost six hours uh, of shooting time and they're really cool in that they also glow blue at the end when you're charging them. It's just another uh, icing on the cake. They are a a bit more expensive, almost twice um, what you pay on the other uh, batteries, but you get a lot more uh, play time on that. And you also, you get about a thousand charges on this. So normal batteries, rechargeable batteries gets about 500. Oh, the other thing that's really cool, so let's refocus here. We just got done doing this, so <laughs> I'm not joking when I say we use it all the time. So. The other cool thing about this, and, and it was so neat to watch because I had it sitting right next to my computer when I was working this, uh, the testing on this. This thing ran at full power and, th and these are specifically uh, geared to give you that 1.5 volt per uh, battery until they are out. It's, you don't get this slow decline. So if you've ever had to work with a microphone and have these batteries in on a microphone and all of a sudden your mic starts picking up noise or seemingly picks up noise or it gets a lot more interference because you're getting that um, gradual decline at the end of the battery charge. This goes right to the end and cuts out. I mean it, it literally kept that going full charge. <laughs> it literally kept that going full charge recording crisp and clean on three different mics and then it just shut off. It was like, that was it. Uh, five hours and 53 minutes. So these work on just about anything. Um, rechargeable, they recharge in uh, one and a half to two hours. 
So uh, a worthy investment. So if you're looking to get something that's going to last um, so far, they have been treating me well. And I am happy to talk about them. I had to get the F4 because it also records time code and uh, uh, jams time code. So I got a little tentacle receiver. Okay, this is a tentacle e-sync. This will receive the time code from here and then I can put it out to my GH4 or I can put it out to the Black Magic. On the Black Magic, I, I really it's it's a two second you plug in from the um, audio into the audio microphone port on the Black Magic, and it takes one to two seconds, and it it takes the time code. And then you can put it out to a GH4 or whatever else. So what we do on this the GH4 is we have a splitter that comes in. It's a standard stereo splitter, so that you've got your left and right channel, and you plug the e-sync on one and that just records the time code directly to one of the channels and uh, this one usually goes out to another little microphone uh, that we just set up and we record that so that I have audio that I can use on that and if I'm time syncing to the black magic then we just uh, take whichever one has the better mic at that point but it works really well so technically sync this which I always use uh, and a nice sharp lens the f4 that covers it for just that little um, smorgasbord uh, if you have any questions or comments please uh, put it down below uh, we do have a really cool short film that's coming out it's a long production that took a lot longer uh, that's it because of arranging a lot of people and trying to get them all going at the same time. Like if we had secured the location for this last scene uh, three weeks ago, we'd have had it. We will have some more videos coming. There's a lot more coming. I did shoot a lot more. I just haven't put them out yet. That'll come out with the um, uh, behind the scenes footage from the actual shoot. We'll do a bit more from that. And that's it.